Hello YouTubers, I've been approached to do a review by IC Station. It's for a voice record playback module soundboard. In short, it records 120 seconds um, of audio and plays it back when triggered by a switch. It's the sort of thing you find in um, a rather fancy birthday card or similar. This is how it arrived. I've already cut it open. Let's take it out and have a look. The PCB is um, protected by foam. Um, I probably prefer to see it in between two pieces of card as well as the foam or a small box. But um, it seems adequate. And this, I'm not sure what this is. Um, there's no instructions, but it doesn't need it. Um, on their website is a page dedicated to each item. And the page for this has comprehensive specifications and a photograph clearly labelled showing how you wire it up. And the circuit board itself. You can see how small it is if you use my thumb as a frame of reference. Using the image from the website, it's time to hook this up. Okay, that's the soldering done. Uh, it was a simple job. The diagram on the website makes things very easy. Um, I use a very cheapo speaker and uh, the microphone is a simple webcam jobby. As you can tell, I um, didn't solder any buttons in. Um, if I were to box this and finish it as a proper project, obviously I would. So, does it work? As you can tell, um, it does. I've been testing it um, in between other projects um, off and on for a few weeks and it's been fairly reliable and well, very reliable in all that time I've had two glitches um, by glitch I mean um, the sound wouldn't come through properly and it would effectively stutter um, to clear that I would just um, remove the power and wait a while so what's the quality like well obviously it's never going to be um, hi-fi output but um, for a project depending on the nature of the project um, it's perfectly acceptable When I first heard that, I thought, um, yeah, it's okay, um, but will replacing that speaker um, improve the quality of the sound? So yes, it really does improve the quality of the sound. I also wondered if using a line level input was possible um, and indeed if it could actually improve the um, quality of the recording. So I'm going to do a, a quick recording through the microphone um, first. Okay, let's play that back. As you can tell, um, it's very sensitive. Um, and yes, uh, the quality is definitely acceptable through the microphone. In my case, it's quite handy using this microphone because I can just take out the stalk from the base and use that to connect to my phone. Obviously you can't hear this. I'll give it a few seconds. Okay, that's enough I think. And how does that sound? Oh, 
Um, at least just as good, um, if not better. Uh, one thing I did notice, and uh, this is in between takes, um, if the volume is high, uh, anything more than that, um, on the phone, uh, it will invoke that glitch that I mentioned before. A couple of other things to keep in mind. Um, the first is, does it uh, actually record 120 seconds of audio? Um, I've tested that and uh, I can confirm that it does. Um, the second thing is, does it retain um, the recorded file, uh, audio clip, um, in between um, uh, power cycling? So for example, you turn the thing off, take the batteries away, um, come back um, a day later, power it up, is the audio clip still there? And uh, yes, yes it is. So now we know it works, um, how do we actually make a recording um, using this button layout? Well, these three wires correspond to these three um, wire terminal pads, and um, one of them uh, I couldn't get to work. Uh, this push recording, loosen, end of recording. Um, not quite sure what that means, um, didn't seem to do anything for me anyway. Um, so it's only those two. Um, wires that we need to um, take account of. And they're simple. Um, you do a momentary um, touch, uh, contact, to start the recording and do it again to end the recording. Uh, we do that here now. One, two, three, four, five. And that's the recording made. To play it back, um, there's two buttons, uh, which correspond to these three um, terminal pads here, and these three wires. and um, you have two options and both work. One is to do a momentary touch to play the recording once. One, two, three, four, five. And the other one is to hold that down to cycle it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Mm, that's good. If you hold that down, one, two, it won't three, cycle four, it. four, five. Just stops. And if you just do a touch contact with that and play it. So they work as they should. To summarise, um, it works and it's a cheap, simple way to capture and implement um, up to um, two minutes of audio uh, on whatever project you're thinking of. Personally, if I was to carry this on, I'd be tempted to have um, a pressure mat um, under the doormat and uh, put it out on the days that I'm expecting a courier. And when they tread on it, at this. Oi, Korea, we are in. So don't sneak off and ring the bloody doorbell.